I did want to touch on one thing, man, because the NBA playoffs is coming, and bro, uh, the Lakers, the Brooklyn Nets, is scary hours for them right now. D- these was the two teams that was the favorite mm-hmm. in the preseason. Yep. They, they was the favorite coming out in the preseason. Vegas still got the Brooklyn Nets favorite or the, with the best odds to win the finals, which is crazy to me because Vegas... Vegas don't they, I mean they don't usually just make statements like that, but maybe they know something we don't know. I don't know. But what's y'all thoughts on the on on the Lakers, man, and Brian? Bro, that third <laughs> quarter against the Pelicans is what summed this season up to me. Like what happened in the third I mean, quarter? A, a, a lot of twerking and uh cheek clapping. <laughs> 41 points. He gave up 41 points. They gave up. Bro, it was up in that same quarter. It was up by 23 points, bro. Man. They got I mean, at at this point, I think they just trying to get into that plan, and then they think they just going to magically turn it on, you know, if they get into the playoffs, and it's just, I don't see it happening. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get into the play-in, though. They they in the the 10th spot, and they lost again tonight. And LeBron they got, is, is they got like six games ankle. left, though, right? Right. But yeah. But hopefully, LeBron hopefully ankles AD up. can come back. Hopefully, AD can come back before these last six, six games. Hopefully. Bro, they about to miss the playoffs, man. Man, AD, yeah. AB, uh, AC Slater. <laughs> at, 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 at this point, <laughs> trash. <laughs> 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 Bro, hey, what y'all do if AC Slater uh, lined up for them no uh, more? Hey, AC Slater, <laughs> AC, a- hey, they need some toughness out there. They need Bruh. some toughness out there, man. But but LeBron lead the league in, in in scoring at the age of thirty seven in year nineteen. He passed Malone this year. He's still in 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 route to pass Kareem. Um, but. Is it worth it, man? Like I, re- this is my honest opinion. the The Lakers made a lot of mistakes in the off season, and when those mistakes started to rear its ugly head, and the Lakers couldn't play good basketball, I think at some point LeBron switched to, "Well, it ain't my fault. I'm gonna show you by putting up all these points. It ain't me." This 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 uh letting the squad down. And on top of that, I'm gonna make sure I win this scoring title because that's what I'm playing for for the rest of the season. The scoring title and uh moving up closer to Kareem. Am I See, right? I don't honestly I don't want to believe that that's true, but it's hard to deny that though. It, it really, really is with everything that we've su- seen like the last month or so. Like it's like he, you know, he's getting the points, he's scoring and stuff like that. But it's like the team is still in the same condition. It's like they're not changing anything around to push to get to the playoffs. At least in my opinion, you know, no, there's nothing to change. You you can't you can't like, get you can't get nothing from a trash can but garbage. <laughs> right. I mean, you you got to think, man. The, the team missed a a d for two-thirds of the season and he was their defense if they had any and LeBron is I know what the did because since I watched Undisputed a lot um he's ranked 199th of defensive win shares I mean kind of horrible for your number one player in your team right now so I mean, you know all that all the all that advanced analytics I'm gonna tell you I'm what I'm more concerned about real talk I bought these jelly uh, gummy bears from Dollar General, <laughs> and they look like rabbits instead of bears. <laughs> and I need to know Dollar General, though. Yeah, I need to know why these bears look like rabbits. Yeah, They're good. But 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 no, that's more important than defensive win share. Like, listen, the the good old eye test will tell you that uh, they trash and they had to put up a thousand points to win because they're going to give up one hundred and fifty points on defense. Every game. Yeah, but the answer to why they're giving up points on defense is very uh, obvious when you observe what's going on. And the answer to that is 
they're playing small ball for no apparent reason. Well, I, it is an apparent reason. They're playing small ball because it's better for LeBron's offense, not the Lakers' offense. It's better for LeBron's offense. I mean, I've seen them play small ball, pause, big ball, pause. It don't matter who in there. They listen if if they're protect if they got rim protectors out, then the other team shooters are shooting. Like they they they, they don't know how to play team defense with any with any five uh, lineup with any combination of the five. Man, it's it's bad. And, and I, you know, of course, you wouldn't be you if you didn't blame it on LeBron, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you got well, okay, let me ask you this then, Jay. If LeBron didn't if, play tonight, that defense still sucks. Let me ask you this, Jay. <laughs> if you play small ball and give up 120 points, or if you play a conventional lineup and still give up 121 points, right? Then why play small ball? And, and it, listen, o- offensively, uh, there, there's no reason to play ball at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, it, it doesn't matter. But uh, man, so so this is I, I've done again. We're talking about scientific proof, like things that you can prove scientifically. Scientifically, Melvin has a problem with LeBron <laughs> because uh, by the time Melvin was 37, uh, his top was completely missing. LeBron's still hanging on. That, that's what this boils down to. <laughs> Well, first of all, that's false because I don't have a problem with LeBron. I critique sure. his, hey, look, I critique look, hey, his game. Look, dude, LeBron is the most capped for dude, player. Dude, no, no matter NBA what, history. no matter what is going on in sports, uh, Le, LeBron is. Uh, you'll you'll make a point about LeBron. Like I t- today, I think I was in man down, and the post might have been about the uh, smack, and I think you said something like, "Hey." Uh, that, that's how LeBron getting them Chiefs clap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, look in, in, in this in this, hey, in, this my world, line. in this sports world, Jay, there has to be a counterbalance to the cap. <laughs> it's surrounding LeBron. It's it's so toxic. Now nah, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tell y'all, man. Melvin Melvin is uh he crafty like Wiley Coyote, but but he never quite gets the road runner either. <laughs> But he's very crafty. That that man introduced this segment as uh, the Nets and the Lakers are both playing trash. Oh, we're going to get to the Nets. Uh, Hold hold on. And then (laughs) said nothing else about the Nets and said, hey, LeBron is ass. Uh, (laughs) That's a progression. Progression. We're going to get to the Nets, too. LeGrin, he he, he thought thought about throwing the Nets out there. We'd be like, well, he was hard on, on his boy KD. No, nope. <laughs> no, sir, no, sir. You, you ain't fooled me. I knew where you was going. I tried to say with my with my uh, with my gummy rabbits. Yeah, but, but now you. Will. Hey, so uh, so yeah, so that's but Jay, they're playing small ball, which is contributing the most to their defensive woes. Would you agree with that or not? I disagree. They have defensive they- woes because. They have defensive woes. Did you see them against Philly? Yeah. Without LeBron, when they yeah. played, when they played Gabriel and Howard, a conventional did, big did, man. Did you see them? To, did you see them tonight against Dallas uh, without LeBron? They got hundred. Yeah, but but yeah, but Dwight only played five minutes tonight. So they 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 didn't they didn't they, they didn't play the lineup they played against Philly. They played a conventional Maybe, lineup hey, against hold Philly, on. and that was the could, best could defense the I've seen be that play that, all that, year. That Dwight can only give you five minutes. No, he, he well, he gave him thirty minutes the night against Philly against MB. All right, that, and, and he had that. I mean, could the problem be that could they be playing small ball because the white is masking an injury that he's not telling the media about? No, no, I think I think tonight they didn't play uh, the white because they played Dallas and Dallas doesn't really play a big man. So I I, I think the only time they the only time the white has a possibility Dude, four big men in the league four. left. That's not true. Brooke Lopez is in Milwaukee. Uh, Joel, Joel Embiid is in um, uh, Philly. Jokic One, is in, Jokic is in uh, Denver. You got Gobert in Utah. You got De- DeAndre Ayton in Phoenix. Two. 
Oh, Dallas come on, in, in New Orleans. Exactly. Come on, Jay. It's, it's, it's plenty of big men out there. What? You, you don't it's consider Dallas Jones a big man? man you got Steven Adams in uh in uh, uh Memphis. Memphis. Three. You got uh Andre Drummond in Brooklyn. Three. Hey, look, you just you just can't cap all your points, Jay. Some of your points got to actually have some some substance to it. Dude. All my points have substance to it. You they can't all just, can't be kept. You can't, you can't just tell me uh, just because a dude totally a big man. These these niggas ain't playing big. They're, they're conventional bigs, though, Jay. <laughs> they're not playing big. Jay, they're conventional bigs. They're, they're not conventional. <laughs> there, there's nothing. Listen, you got them on, Cap Doctor. You got them what, on. What is position does Cap play in Minnesota? Is he the four or he the, the five? five? He's the five. He the fourth. He the fourth that's, and that's final another, one. That's another one. Mar Marvin Bagley not a big. Uh, nah, he's not a big. I wouldn't count Bagley. As L listen, man, just because you seven foot and and three hundred pounds don't mean you're big, man. I, I just named bigs that play in the paint. Probably you, you name you name bigs that that be where the paint at. What <laughs> <laughs> these, these dudes do not contribute offensive or defensively. All right, let me let let me get, let Mike and Cass get in and, and get their opinion on that. <laughs> go ahead, Cass. All right, I'm gonna be quick because I gotta go do something for. Um, as far as what the true bigs, like Jay, Jay don't even watch basketball like talking about it anymore. So that's that's why I can't really take Jay serious right now. Um, but for Tudo, for Tudo, um, how about the Celtics? Because Melvin, you brought that to my attention. I know I'm getting a little bit off subject, but I need a shout out to them. Going twenty two and three. I'm going to work now. I'll be right there. Um, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. He had to load, but we, with the Celtics. I was talking to Cass earlier about them losing Robert Williams was gonna be big, man, because now their big man is only ha uh, Al Horford and uh, Tice, and Tice is kind of small, and Al Horford don't give you much athleticism at the rim, even though he's still a good rebounding, good defender, but he's not the shot blocker and the lob threat that Williams is. Nah. Nah, I like I like Williams. I wouldn't call him a true big, but I like him. I like what he gave me. Nah, yeah, he's not a true big, but he's a he's he's a shot blocker. He's very athletic, mm -hmm. and and he's a lob threat on offense. So, um, that that's that's something. That's something more than it's nothing that they lost him. Hold on, man. Listen, wait. Real talk. Mark Williams that plays for Duke, and Armando Baycock that plays for Carolina. These guys can come to the league and be big, but they're going to transition their game to this European NBA play style. That, like, you're gonna you're gonna forget how big they are. Like, like Aiden, Aiden in college was a big man. I mean, the, the shit they got him doing now, he shouldn't be doing. He should be posted yeah. up back to the basket every play. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. And I think you're thinking of one way of being a big, yeah, uh, getting the ball in the post and and imposing your will. That's one way to be the uh, big, but they're also that's, down. That's the only way. Well, that well, it's other is other sides to it. They're also down there boxing out, pushing, uh, getting offensive rebounds and and exploiting mismatches in the post. They're, they're they're getting points in the post. My thing is, if LeBron is on DeAndre Ayton. It's an easier uh, offensive rebound or uh, any, anything in the paint. It's easier with LeBron on Aiden than it would be with Dwight on Aiden. First of all, let me stop you there. If LeBron line up at, at the five, he not on Aiden in the paint. No, sir. Nah, if he they, if the paint, what you going to see? Wait, 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 wait. So you're right. However, when I watched them play the Pelicans, they tried to go small, and they they thought that the Pelicans wouldn't use Valanciunas to get buckets, and they absolutely did. And the way they the way that uh, uh, LeBron would hunt for a screen to get a, a switch in a mismatch on the wing, that's what that's what they was doing in New Orleans, and they kept getting LeBron stuck on Valanciunas, and he took advantage. No, I can't I can't I can't remember Buddy's name, but Buddy Buddy three point shooting what brought them back. Murphy, you're Murphy. right, but yeah. that 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 was only part of it. Valanciunas was also stuck on LeBron, whether that whether it was offensive rebounds or he got it in the post a couple of times and scored on LeBron with the ease. 
that wouldn't happen with Dwight. But they um, would they, they I, would I rather down not the stretch down the stretch it, it it definitely happened on the way. Yeah, but not consistent. Jay, the the point I'm making is the point. The, the, the point I'm making is they're choosing not to play Dwight because their offensive mind they're saying we're gonna give up the rebounds and the points in the paint, play small ball because on the other end of the floor, we know we got a mismatch with LeBron at five. And whoever your five is, you're gonna have to find him to play somebody else. You know, we're gonna get a mismatch somewhere, and that's their that's their strategy. But but yeah. but here's the point I make: here. if you are in the NBA and you line up in front of LeBron, you're at a mismatch. Don't have to be a five. One number two. Six the, years ago, yeah. Even now, even no. still now, not now, because he can still bulldoze his way to the rim. He needs a screen first. He he, he hey. has to have, get a screen first. I, I I do kind of agree with that because if you watch the games a lot, they always screen for LeBron to get him on the mismatch. And it's good basketball, don't get me wrong, but it's like it's one of those things like he's saying, like if he don't get that screen, you see what I'm saying, either he's going to try to muscle his way to the paint or he's going to shoot a three. Like, to me, the only thing LeBron is still truly dangerous in is transition offense. Mm -hmm. Like, when he gets a head start from God knows where, there's no stopping that man. But as far as – go ahead. No, 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 no. no. I, I, agree, I agree with what you were saying. But what, I, what I'm saying is, on the defensive end, it doesn't matter how they line up. The Lakers are bad defensively. Oh no! Facts, facts. The, 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 but the they net. wasn't against, they wasn't against oh, Philly oh, when oh, they played oh, the conventional oh, no, lineup. Oh, no. The Nets are bad defensively, dude. Oh, you, you so so. Hold on, time out, Melvin. See, this this this, this is what you do, man, and it and it it it's funny because no one notices, but I'm gonna call it out. Okay. You said uh, with Dwight Howard, he uh, he wouldn't have got scored on like that. I said, man, I watched it down the stretch. Did get scored on? You was like, yeah, but not consistent. So so your your point was talking about consistency. And then when I said they're bad defensively, you're gonna say well, they wasn't against Philly one game out of eighty, dude. But that's but the hold on, Jay. That's the only sample size we have of them playing Gabriel and Dwight a conventional lineup. That, you, that's and, not and, the only sample and, size we have. And or in order to see what I'm talking about, that I think uh, helps them play better defense, LeBron has to be out, and they have to play Dwight and Gabriel the minutes, and and that they can't be playing small ball. No. I get. I guarantee if they played Dwight games, and Gabriel, listen. That's the first game I seen them play on the on the floor together. How many games have LeBron missed this year? Close to twenty, maybe, maybe more. And of those twenty, how many have they lost? I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna say ninety five percent. I don't. We don't know. But <laughs> all, 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 all I'm gonna say is it doesn't matter. They're bad defensively. You, you can put that on LeBron. You can put that on coaching. You can put that on all the players. They're bad defensively. How do you fix that? Get a better roster next year. Like, but Jay, this year I, is I'm, over. Jay, they're not that bad of a team, and they're not that bad defensively. the 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 style they chose to play is what's biting them in the behind. Like I told you, if they play a conventional lineup, they will be fine. But they cannot play a conventional lineup because if LeBron was on the floor. And they play Gabriel and Dwight. He has no shooters to spread the floor for him on offense. And then that's going to make him play and guard wings, which he don't feel like at 37, year 19, he really wants to do for four straight quarters and 82 games plus playoffs. All right. Well, Mike Legrand. Mike Legrand. Okay. And let's let's give it up for Melvin, man, because uh, this is his last year on the Man Down podcast because he's so <laughs> good at coaching. He can go coach the, the Lakers. They got a whole coaching staff that they're paying millions of dollars that they can't figure out what Melvin just figured out. I, I can that's definitely build I can definitely build a consultant and, 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 and get clutch sports out and, of the Mel, Lakers Mel, front office that, and stop Mel, uh, and stop for falling yourself. for all that all that cap. I can <laughs> no, definitely no, no, do that, no, but I can't no, coach no, no. them. Hit, hit that clap button for yourself. For, there's no point. The, the, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Dude, so let me let me 